Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today you guys, I have some delicious, scrumptious, deliumptious Indian food. You guys, I just had this um, last week. I just didn't film it because <laughs> I was so hungry and I wanted to eat it all up so fast that I didn't want to wait and put makeup on, so I didn't film it, I just ate it. It was delicious makes me want more so I bought more so I have some chicken tikka masala over some basmati, basmati rice some chicken samosas some garlic naan I have a mango lassi here and I have this scrumptious deliumptious green sauce I don't know what it's called in the tamarind sauce what are you guys eating with me oh, smells good I'm gonna put this right here What y'all eating? If you have never tried Indian food, which I'm pretty sure most of you have, but if you've never tried it, I recommend that you try it. Can you have some? Here. Okay. Crispy bacon's here with us today, you guys. Um, you guys, I grabbed my big spoon because I'm just being greedy today. I have a regular spoon here too, but I just like, uh, want big bites. Oh, sorry. Okay, y'all got your bite? Okay, my turn. Mm. Guys, this oh. mm. Mm, mm, mm. the um sauce is amazing, you guys. Mm. And I have this big spoon on purpose, you guys. Please don't be going crazy in the comments. I bought this spoon just to take big bites. Mm. Mm. Look at this naan, you guys. Look at all that. Goodness. Garlic. Mm. This is so delicious. Chicken tikka masala. Probably should ask for a little bit more spice. to start break dancing y'all something break dancing line dancing twerking something this is so mm, 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 so good guys I've never made tikka masala before I guess it'll be my on my to-do list. Mm -mm. Trying to the girls. I'm in 
happen right now. And I don't want to share. I mean, not with y'all. I'm not saying I don't want to share with you guys. Here, you can have a bite. I'm saying I don't want to share with the family. Mm. My word. Baby. This is so good. Look at that sauce. We got mine. Look at this, you guys. Hmm. Take a bite. Guys, don't forget to thumbs up this video. <clears throat> Comment down below. Sorry. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. On the side of the subscription button is a notification bell. Hit the bell to be notified every time I upload a video. This is amazing too. But that gets me really full. So. Oh. I want to go to this place. They have a buffet uh, during the day, I believe, like a lunchtime buffet. I want to go during the day. So I can go to the buffet, try everything. I'm back. Sorry guys for the interruption. <clears throat> it seems like, you know, every time I try to film, I get interrupted. But I decided to put a little bit more of this tikka masala sauce on this rice. Mm. I gotta learn how to make this. Guys, uh, I think it's Sunday. I think it's Sunday. <clears throat> it's um, St. Patty's Day. It's either Sunday or Saturday, but I think it's Sunday. Mm. And I love playing dress up. Give me a reason. So, I will have on my St. Patty's outfit. I don't think I'm doing a St. Patrick's Day mukbang this year. Because I really don't want corned beef and cabbage. I don't like cabbage. Well, I don't like cooked cabbage. I know. Calm down. What? She ain't black. <laughs> No, I just, I like, um, I like cabbage raw, like in a vinegar-based coleslaw, but I do not like cooked cabbage. So, I might, I might put something on Instagram or something, just so y'all can see my little fit. It's cute. I think we're doing something at work. Pop up or something. You 
You know what I do want to try, you guys? And I don't like. I don't like beer. But I want to try green beer. And I know they have it everywhere. Maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe have some green beer. Maybe go live and have green beer and whatever else you're supposed to have besides corned beef and cabbage, y'all. <laughs> I'm sure it tastes just like beer, but I just want to try it because it's green. Comment down below if you've had green beer before. And if you have, you like it? What does it taste like? Is it just regular beer with food coloring? There is a restaurant near me that it's not a sports bar but I got a restaurant that plays all the sports all on TVs they have the pool tables and everything nice little hangout spot they do a um, St. Patty's Day special When I was younger, I used to rip and run in the streets and go like bar hopping and stuff. Nothing too bad, nothing too terrible. Just, you know, having some good old fun with the girls. You know, I don't know if I would do all that now that I'm older. Because, guys, one thing that I don't care to be around is drunk people. Now, if you're fun drunk, <laughs> you know, but if you start acting crazy, if you start getting angry, wanting to fight everybody, or if you start crying, I can't hang with you. I can't do no crybaby drunk. Mm -mm. Well, excuse me. Or an angry drunk. Those are the worst. The ones that want to fight. <clears throat> or a floozy drunk. <laughs> you know that one friend you got? You get drunk and get friendly with everybody. Like, where are you doing? We all came together, we all leave together. She trying to go home with somebody. Mm -mm. Not on my shift. Yeah, I know. We all have that one promiscuous friend. Mm. You see that? 
I'm eating more than what I'm supposed to. I was only supposed to eat a little bit, y'all. <clears throat> but it's so good. Mm. The sauce over here for extra sauce. Mm. Holy, that's delicious. So guys, I was talking to a coworker. <laughs> and I was telling her that I was gonna either get a farm or a ranch. Now right now I really don't know what the difference is. I'd have to do my research, but kind of want to farm. Don't ask me why. Because I am, I'm really not into animals like that. I mean, I love my dog, but you know, farm animals, yeah, not so much. But I still want to farm with a garden. I want to grow my own fruits and vegetables. So, I'm making a mess over here. Do not be surprised if, however many years from now, I start doing mukbangs from the farm. <laughs> I watch um, <clears throat> Weed em and Reap. Um, if you don't know them, check out their channel. It's a, I've talked about their channel before. It's a family that has a farm in the suburbs in Arizona. And they have um, dwarf or miniature goats that they use for milking. Oh, Lord, you have chickens. Sorry. They have chickens. They have pigs. Um, they have a turkey, or two turkeys. And she does grows all her fruits and vegetables in her garden. It's a cool channel. Like, if it can be done in. The suburbs, it can basically be done anywhere. I don't know if I would do all that, but I definitely want a garden. I'm not sure if I get the goats for the milking because I don't drink milk. I'm telling you everything I don't eat and don't drink, huh? Mm. Although I've never tried goat milk before. But if there's anything like cow milk, mm -mm. I think it'll be fine. I know it'll be a lot of work because there's a lot of chores. <clears throat> Leave the city life. Hmm. I think I could do it. I think I could do it. 
when I first left the city years ago, I used to live in San Francisco. When I first left San Francisco, it was a little bit of a challenge for me because I moved to a city that was smaller and quieter and cleaner and <laughs> kind of wasn't as diverse as San Francisco. But it, it it took me a little while to adjust. Even things like sleeping, I couldn't sleep for the longest because it was too quiet. Like um, it was so quiet you could hear like crickets outside. So, excuse me, I would have to um, like blast my TV or the radio just to sleep. Because when you live in a city. You know, you're always hearing noise constantly. And then to go to peace and quiet was really hard to address. But now I'm used to the peace and quiet. I probably can't sleep in the noise. <laughs> San Francisco, never, never a dull moment, you guys. I got some stories I could tell y'all, baby. <laughs> Just the nonsense that went on the riffraff and crazy shady characters and this craziness all the time. It was fun though. Well, it wasn't fun at the moment, but it was fun. I'm getting full. Mango lassi, you guys. Like a mango yogurt drink. <clears throat> really good. I think it's supposed to be to cool down your palate. You know, like if you're eating spicy food. But to me, this food is not spicy. Like I would like it to be a little bit hotter. Like me, to me, the perfect spice is when your nose starts running. <clears throat> if your nose starts running, then no, ugh, that's that good stuff. Not too hot to eat. You know, just perfect. Like, mm -mm. <laughs> I think I'm going to wrap up, you guys, <clears throat> because I'm full. Let me go ahead and pack this away because I will be finishing this. Oh, you best to believe. This will probably be breakfast. <laughs> it's too good to waste. It's amazing. So, um, once again, please, please, please do me a favor. Sorry, I have rice. Thumbs up this video, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already done so. On the side of the subscription button is a notification bell. Hit the bell to be notified every single time that I upload a video. Um, feel free to share my videos with your friends, your family, your coworkers, your neighbors, with anyone. You can also share my videos on your social media platform if you want to. Just tag me so that I know that you did it. <clears throat> You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, or Facebook, all under the name Miko Yum Yum. Um, guys, I was kind of thinking, so just because I just kind of mentioned like I had some stories to tell you, I know that one person did request that I do some story times. Um, <laughs> and I could do some story times, you guys, but you know, I want I want to just stay in this image of sweet little Miko Yum Yum. Um, I'm kidding. This is really who I am, but I do have some super duper crazy stories to tell. I'll see. I'll think about it. I have to kind of, I'll see. Bleep out some names and make sure it's a video that certain people don't watch, you know. Um, <clears throat> to my subscribers, the new ones, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the fan bam. I hope that you are enjoying this content. To my day ones and my loyal viewers. <sighs> Love you and I appreciate you. Thank you for being so supportive. Thank you for the views, the thumbs up, the, the comments, the suggestions, the feedback, all of that. Thank you. 
even even the criticism because I take it I listen to it um, and I apply it if it's you know something that's corrective criticism something that's gonna help my channel or help me or whatnot that other stuff you know yeah out the window with that stuff but um, those that are not being constructive those that are just being little buttheads and being mean um, I appreciate y'all too Thank you. <clears throat> um, I can't remember what I was going to say. I get so forgetful after because I get so sleepy after I eat some good food. Um, come back and join me for another mukbang, a cook with me, an ASMR video, or a uh, wait, a mukbang, a cook with me, an ASMR, or a vlog. <laughs> This is what good food does to y'all. This is what real good food do to you. Make you all dinky in the head. <clears throat> yeah, um, so come back and join me for another video, guys. I'll try to do, I don't know what my next, I kind of sort of know what my next video is going to be. I'll see about doing a story time. I don't know. It depends on what category you guys want to hear about. You want to hear about like t my 20s. You want to hear about my 30s, you want to hear about carefree, wild girl, I wasn't wild, wild, but like carefree, you want to hear about, I don't know if I would talk about love, the live life, not sure I'm comfortable with that just yet, I know that we're family and everything, but mm, we'll see, y'all gonna be asking too many darling questions, <clears throat> and you know I gotta keep my secrets, <laughs> and my friend used to call me secret keeper all the time. I am good at holding some secrets, y'all. Anywho's, I'm gonna go. Love you guys, and I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. Um, thumbs it up, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Really feel free to share. Go ahead. Shout out to James Charles, Morphe Palette. Try something new today on the eyes. Um, I'm gonna keep playing in that. Cause they got so many beautiful colors and pigmentation on that, you guys. Amazing. Shout out to James Charles and Morphe. They did an amazing job. Um, okay, guys, I'm going to go because I'm just rambling. Love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Come back and join me. Smooches, guys. Mm -hmm. See you guys in the next video. Bye.